Hi, it's Alaska Granny. I'm in the lower 48. I'm spending some time in my Alaska Granny camper, which is an RV or a travel trailer that I keep in the lower 48 when I want to spend time with my family and especially my little grandchildren. If you can hear some noise, it's raining and the leaves are falling down all wet and thump, thump, thump. So it's been, yeah, typical Pacific Northwest weather. Lots of rain, falling leaves, no matter where you're going, you need to remember there's no bad weather, it's just the wrong clothes. You need to be prepared for weather that gets cold or gets rainy because you want to be able to still enjoy yourself. So make sure that you plan for all types of situations when you set out for the day. I've been to the Dollar Tree. I love going to the Dollar Tree when I'm in the lower 48 because we don't have it in Alaska. I did a little shakedown camp out with the grandkids. So I've resupplied things that we needed more of or we were just missing or needed to replace because perhaps they were no longer useful. Trip to the Dollar Tree is an inexpensive way to find a little waste basket. I needed a little tiny one to put into the RV bathroom. If you're spending time in an RV, you know, don't flush anything that didn't come out of your body. No paper goes down the potty in an RV. So you want to have a little right size waste basket, line it with a plastic bag, and then put your waste paper in there. Don't flush anything because you're going to have problems with your black tank if you do. The kids love mac and cheese and I discovered I did not have a strainer. So now we have a colander strainer. They have some uh, collapsible ones that would take up less space, but this one was $1.25 and the collapsible ones are like $10. So I figured I could put up with a little bit of not a space saving to save a lot of dollars. I can also use it to store fruit or something. Just set it aside and then set the fruit aside when you need to and use it for a colander because it's very difficult to drain macaroni and cheese if you don't have something like this. You don't want to waste those macas. I bought some more of the little silicone. They're like child sized tools, but they're just right for an RV. I had a few, but I didn't have all of them. And when I saw them in the same color of the ones I already had, I thought it's a great way to have a little ladle, to have a whisk, and then another spoon. I already have a spatula, and these just work great. They're just the right size. Nothing sticks to them. They're sturdy and heavy duty. They're great whether you want them for your kid's play kitchen, whether you want to teach your kids to help you in the kitchen, or you want some small space little utensils. The white scissors in the kitchen section of the Dollar Tree are very sturdy. I want to make sure I had an extra pair. The ones that we've been using are working great, but if your scissors break, that could be an emergency, and so it's always nice to have extras of things you rely on and that you use frequently. I like to go to the party section and buy the little plastic sets of utensils, the cutlery, because I think they're kind of pretty and they're super sturdy. But when I came back from the shakedown tour, I took the dirty dishes and I put them in the dishwasher. And then, well, <laughs> this is no longer a silver spoon. It's still sturdy. It still works, but it doesn't quite look right anymore. And I realized that, yes, I usually hand wash these. But in a hurry, I decided to put them all in the dishwasher to make sure things were clean. So. It's easy to get another set for $1.25. When you're at the Dollar Tree, look for the silicone mats. They're supposed to be like a pot holder, but they're great for putting things around in your RV and they, nothing slips. And so you can put things on them. They're not going to slip around. They even work that way in your kitchen if you want, or even in your bathroom. If you have something like a little mirror you want to put on the counter, you don't want it to slide around, this can help. Well, I have a portable fan. While it clipped on, it wasn't sturdy enough, so I realized I could wrap one of these around the vent hood and then clip on my fan, and it was far sturdier and held and did a great job. So I needed an extra one. If you have little night lights that take little bulbs, you can pick up the bulbs at the Dollar Tree. It's easy to replace the light bulb. Just make sure when you look at your night light that it has the bulb and not just the little LED thing because those basically are disposable. But I still have a lot of them that I've used for many years that take a little bulb. It's nice to find them when they're three for $1.25. Whether you're camping or in an emergency, it's nice to have some disposable items so that you can serve the foods you have. Maybe you don't have a way to wash dishes, and so if you want to make sure you have plastic utensils, paper plates, and look at this, 
20 paper bowls for $1.25. I've never seen that many of them, and I thought that was great. I hope these are going to be sturdy. They're made out of bamboo and sugar cane, which I haven't tried that before, but some of the bamboo items are good. And even if you have a regular bowl, you can set this in there as a liner and help support your food, and then it isn't, like, say, too hot on your hands or something. But it's nice to have disposables if you're camping, if you're in an emergency where you can't wash your dishes. There are a lot of foods that we have in our prepper pantry and our food storage stockpile that need to be served in a bowl. And so a lot of times we overlook having paper bowls, so make sure that you have an adequate supply. Everything from cereal to soup to beef stew, you can serve in a paper bowl. I like to use straws, so I picked up a pack of those. You can still find Reynolds foil at Dollar Tree. It's far sturdier than the off brands. So if you can find the Reynolds, stock up before it's gone because the other brands that they have at Dollar Tree are simply nowhere near as sturdy and good to use. And foil is something that's great for wrapping up food, putting it in a campfire, even just grilling foil packets on your barbecue. Having sturdy foil is a great thing to have on hand. Dollar Tree has flexible cutting boards. They're two in a package. They're sturdy, they're large, and they're flexible. If you, especially if you're camping, you can cut up your vegetables or whatever, and then you can slide it off into your dish, your bowl, your pot, whatever. These are also great. I keep one under my dog's dish so that when he slurps around or spills his food, it's easy to clean the mat rather than try to scrape crud off of the floor. My daughter's freezer is the bottom pullout, and there are wire racks in there, and little things like popsicles and ice cubes fall down through the wire and get stuck in the very bottom. So I'm going to put some of these and line those wire shelves to keep the little stuff from falling down into the deep, dark recesses of her freezer. Dollar Tree is a great place to pick up hygiene and first aid supplies. It's always nice to have extra hygiene supplies. They're so inexpensive to have a supply of the things that you count on having. We never know if something will happen when the stores will be closed or the weather will be bad or we'll run out of money before we run out of month. And we still want to have the basic necessities day to day. So look at over the products that you use and make sure that you have extras to see you through. When you take one off the shelf, replace it with another one and then you'll always have an ongoing supply. So I picked up another bar of soap. I like the Yardley soap so I always try to pick it up at Dollar Tree when I can find it. And I got two more battery operated toothbrushes for the little kids. It even includes the battery. So yeah you could get a plain old toothbrush for $1.25 but how about a cute one with a little battery that they're more likely to keep using because they feel like it's brushing their teeth for them. And if you you have little kids maybe the struggle is real at your house too that they don't really want to brush their teeth but they're more likely to if we give them one of these so this is going to be great to have in my Alaska granny camper for the kids to make sure they're trying to brush a little better because I still have little ones I picked up a tube of diaper rash cream we want everybody to have a comfy bottom my kids are at the age when if they get a bump or a scrape, they want a Band-Aid. And so why not make sure you have plenty of extras on hand? Maybe they don't need one every time, but it's nice to be able to give them a little comfort. And, and so I'm willing to hand out Band-Aids. So I was able to find some Scooby-Doo Band-Aids. And then there were some neon Band-Aids. I found camo Band-Aids. And look, crayon band-aids. So I thought they're cute. Yeah, maybe if we gave them just a plain old band-aid, they wouldn't like them so much. But, you know, when they're little, we don't mind spoiling them a little bit. And make sure that they're comforted and they get on with their day and stop crying. I stocked up on some emergency gear. Lights out are a thing. Right before I left Alaska, there was a big explosion. The, all the power went out, and I was sitting in the dark for who knows how long. You never know how long it's going to be, and it turned out to be for nearly an entire day, starting at 5 o'clock in the morning. And so you need to be prepared for those kind of situations. And so I picked up two more of the Dollar Tree tall candles. These used to last like 80 hours. Who knows if they still do? 
I did notice that they are definitely filled to different heights. There's not a uniform amount of wax in them. So when you're searching for them, make sure that the wick is in there, that their little uh, spot is in the bottom, that the little square metal tab is in the bottom that anchors the wick, and then try to find the ones that have the most wax in them because they're just going to last the longest. Then to light your candles, I love to use the long utility lighters because even as they get going down and down and it's hard to reach in there, you can use your utility lighter to light down in there. These are also great for campfires, fire pits, barbecues, all kinds of things you want to light. It's nice to have a utility lighter with the long reach arm. Dollar Tree is a great place to stock up on matches. You can get a big box of the strike on the box. You can also get a whole pack of little boxes and then you can have them say in your bug out bag, in your emergency gear. You can put them with your camping gear. You can spread out the little boxes of matches and then you can have enough. Something that I recommend is before you put them into any kind of camping emergency gear, stick the pack inside of a Ziploc bag to make sure that it helps keep them dry. Dollar Tree used to have cans of Fancy Heat, and then for a long time they didn't have them, but I noticed this time they have a new can. It's like an alcohol stove, but now they're called Quick Flame, and it still says burns up to two hours. And what you do is you twist off the top. It has a little wick, and it's filled with an alcohol fuel. So you can light the wick, and then look at it carefully because it's burning alcohol you may not think that it's lit but it is it's not going to light like a candle it's going to be a flickering gas type flame and you can use these under something to heat it up and cook it elevate a pot on something and then you can use this to heat it up just like you might use a sterno and then when you want to put it out you can put the lid back on it but don't burn yourself and then you can uh, extinguish the flame then you can put the cap on tightly when you're done. Make sure they're always screwed on tightly. And then you have this to keep using later. You can get a lot of fuel out of those. So, yes, always when you're buying them, make sure that the lids are screwed on tight because you don't want them to leak before you need them. And you never know. You just have to do that just to make sure that they're safe. It would be nice if they stacked, but they're too sliding around. So you might want to have a box to store those in, but store them upright. Don't store them on their sides because you don't want anything to leak out. So it might seem like they would store better that way, but it's not a good idea. I do not recommend it. Then if you wanted to really cook something, you could use several of these at a time. You could use one for, say, one can of soup, but of course you'd want to open your can before you would try to heat it up. But you could use several of these to heat up a larger meal that's in a pot. You want to be prepared to heat something up in an emergency, even a little bit. You can use some of these a little alcohol stoves, these sternotype fuel kits from Dollar Tree. Then I had just a few other things that I needed more of. I picked up the double pack of scotch tape. This is so much better than the jot tape. If you go to Dollar Tree and you want to find the best scotch tape, go with the scotch brand because it's so much better than the other one. I made a video about that. You can look back at the video I made about that if you want, or you can just trust me. I also got a package of sticky notes and some more mechanical pencils because we like to write down notes to each other, shopping lists, recipe ideas, all kinds of things we want to know. I like to write them down. And then, of course, I have my dog Teddy, so I need some additional poop bags so that when we take him out walking, we always have a bag to pick up after our pet. Make sure you always do that. Don't ever leave poop for someone else. A great thing about shopping at Dollar Tree is they have so many other items that are great for an emergency situation. You can pick up all kinds of prepping supplies, household items, first aid supplies, hygiene, and prepping is all about all of the areas of your life that keep life running smoothly. You, Yes, you want food and water, first aid, and then you need household supplies, you need cooking supplies, you need batteries and lights, you need a way to communicate, you need a way to shelter, you need some tools, and you can find a lot of items that fit those categories when you're shopping at Dollar Tree. Leave it in the comments below. What are your favorite items that you pick up at Dollar Tree? that help keep your life running smoothly, whether you're at home, you're bugging out, or you're camping in your 
RV. There's a lot of things we can learn from each other and new items that we want to look for that other people have discovered are useful. I hope you'll like my video, share it with someone else you think might enjoy it. Please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.